Aloha guys, welcome back to my channel. Mermaid Nina here. I am on location. I'm actually on the pier that connects the Boardwalk Resort to Epcot, absolutely. So in this video, we're gonna do a full resort and room tour of Boardwalk, Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Now I already have a review on my channel of this resort and I'm gonna let you know it got a thumbs down from me. Absolutely hated the rooms. They were smelly, they were dirty, didn't like it. But since then, this resort has gotten a full makeover. All the rooms have been renovated. They've added ice cream and pizza and all the stuff to the pier. So we're gonna check out this resort and hopefully now it's gonna get a thumbs up from me. So we're gonna do a full room tour as well as a resort tour. So if you're interested in Boardwalk, follow along. And just so you know, it has the same perks as Yacht and Beach. It connects to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. It's just a walk or a boat ride away and that is the perk at staying at these resorts. But come along guys, we're gonna check it out. Here's Boardwalk. As you can see, I am going from concrete cement to a Boardwalk, that's right. So we've got the Boardwalk Resort all the way across the Boardwalk here. Look at all of that. We've got dance halls, restaurants, pizza, deli, bakery, ice cream. So many things. This is a great place to stay. Hopefully we're gonna check that out. Um, but it's a great place to hang out in the evenings, especially if you are just a couple adults or you got a babysitter for the kiddos. This is a great place to go for nightlife. But it is first thing in the morning here. We're getting ready to check in. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys the boardwalk in the morning. Like I said, at night, it gets filled with people and entertainment. See what I mean? Margaritas. And then we got the Abracadabra bar. Yeah. <laughs> Up ahead, I've been in this bar. It's absolutely fabulous. And then over here is usually where my daughter gets french fries. So warm, so hot, so fresh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Got an excellent restaurant right here. And in between all the restaurants, we've got the actual resort where you would go into the lobby, check in, find your room. You've got a nice little Christmas tree out here. And you can rent those bikes here and take those all around the boardwalk. Yeah, down here is their, uh, like their sundry shops, their gift shop, and just a whole bunch of fun. And there goes a friendship boat. And like I said, it's directly across from Yacht Club and Beach Club, all here on the boardwalk. But I'm going this way to check in. All right, I got my text for my room. Going down the hallway to find it. Look at how cute this chandelier is. How cute is that chandelier? Anyway, we're gonna keep going. All right, we're the last room in the hallway. Let's check it out. Ooh. All right, we're in. Before we go further down, I wanna show you this. Look at all this space. Sorry, my bag's in the corner. This is a big amount of space for a pack and play, a scooter. This is why deluxes are awesome. Just a heads up. We're gonna go straight in. I do have a standard room, at least I think that's what I booked. Uh, we've got two queen beds. We've got Hey Disney in here. Oh, look at this. Yes. I love these cubbies. No USB. Oh, one USB. One USB. Oh, and it looks like a universal. Very cool. Sorry, I got distracted by outlets. Shocking, right? So we've got two queen beds. We do have more outlets here. Of course, one is being used by uh, Hey Disney here. And then we got a drawer I'm sorry. with the Bible. I can't help with that. To find out what I can help with, ask me what can you do? Hey Disney, what t what's the temperature? Right now, it's 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, yeah. expect a low of 44 degrees. Ah, now this is a great time to just hang out on the water. <laughs> there you go, there's Hey Disney for you. Here's the other queen bed. Love this, again, with another little cubby and outlets. And then we got a nice little chair here, in case you wanna lounge. We do have a balcony, I'm gonna show that in a second. I did request a day bed, 100%. You open that up and there's a twin bed inside. 
cute little table and lamp here. Mickey themed. I just noticed the curtains. It's just like the lamps outside. Kind of like old boardwalky style. The characters, super duper cute. You turn around, we got that day bed. And then we've got a TV and the dresser. Looks like we got six drawers here. Ah, good amount of space. They open nicely. I want to note, no carpet and no ceiling fan. We've got some fun Disney artwork right here. Very cute. So we'll just span the room here. That chair even has a hidden Mickey on it. Let's check a look at this. Yep, how cute is that? Little Disney silhouettes. And we move over here. And this is where we're gonna have the beverage station. So we do have a Keurig machine. We have an ice bucket. We have a hidden Mick and Min right here, which means this drawer should be coffee. That's right, so we got some coffee and to-go cups. That also means Yes, beverage cooler. Make sure you check the temp. Can't tell you how many times we've been here and it wasn't even cold. So make sure you check the temp. You turn around and we've got the bathroom. Here we go. Two sinks, lots of storage space. We do have that H2O product, including that lotion there. So that's a lot of nice space, love that. Note there's no section between this space and the beds, which means whatever noise you're making in the morning or at night, everyone can hear you, there's no separation. But right here is the separation between the sinks and the toilet and the shower. So we've got a toilet here, towels, and a shower. Very subtle like that. Sea glass, very pebbly, very pretty, and this kind of looks like sand. We've got the H2O products here. Span around a couple of spots to put your toiletries and a shower. Very simple but nice, you know? Not overdone with that glass door. And like I said, when you want to use the bathroom, you can shut the door, which of course has a full length mirror on it. And then across from this should be our uh, hangers and whatnot in here. So we got a closet, yep. Here we go. Luggage rack, hangers, leftover pillows and blanket with, yep, a lock on them. Perfect, and there's one more. What am I gonna get in here? Okay, I found it. We got a steamer, blow dryer, and a safe and lots of space here. Love this room. So for a quick overview, you walk in and you see the bath, right? And then we've got the beverage cooler. And then we're just straight into the bedroom here, the two queens in the day bed with Hey Disney. It's very calm, it's very light. To connect. Swipe down from the top <laughs> hey Disney the keeps trying to talk to me. Hmm. Your device is offline. To connect, swipe down from the top of your screen. I should have turned him off first, but here's a look at the back here. The two queens, the beverage cooler, the dresser, and the day bed. Let's check out our balcony, shall we? All right, I pulled the curtains away. Here's our balcony. It's on the smallish side. As you can see, the door hits the second chair here, but we've got two chairs and a table. But we are out with everything. You can sit out here, cup of coffee, cocktail, whatever you want. This is the boardwalk. That's the boardwalk's Christmas tree. You see all the kids running around, killing their nervous energy over here. We've got the rest of the boardwalk all the way over there. We've got the friendship boat dock, more people. Usually this area right here is where they do entertainment. I've seen magicians, acrobats, all sorts of really cool things. Of course, in the distance here, we got yacht and beach club. So yeah, pretty cool view from our balcony. Let's go this way with it. Yep. So we're really close to our neighbors here as well. So that's it. That's our room. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this room tour. Next, we're going to finish the rest of the resort. 
All right, if you were to come in the main entrance, if you were here, like you drove here or a bus dropped you off here, you would come right through this way. All right, Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Let's check it out. Some fun seating here. Lots of great theming. They are still decorated for the holidays. We've got a lot of sitting room out here. Looks like they got rid of their gingerbread house. They still have their tree. Lots of awesome seating. But we come in right here. We got bellhop and then we got guest services all right here inside the lobby. Here's their tree. All the way up. We've got some more seating over here. And then they got this. Let's go check this out. How cool is that? It's a roller coaster, like a boardwalk roller coaster. They do, however, have a coffee shop here inside the lobby as needed. Um, you know, you can get your regular coffee stuff, a few pastries. Feels a lot like a Starbucks. I don't know if it is. But yeah. It's just in case you're super thirsty, but again, not refillable mugs here, just take coffee. Here's another look of that carousel looking thing. It's very, very cool. And of course, the chandelier is OMG. Crazy pants. But let's keep going. All right, as you exit the lobby, they have this beautiful kind of sitting area, but you're on the second floor. So you actually overlook a good chunk of the boardwalks. We've got some really great dining over here. We've got gift shops. You go down there for the pool, for the arcade, for the gym, fitness center. We got the tree in the center and this huge circle area is very common for the kiddos to just run around and play. You can see a few of them there. You can rent those bikes up there. And yeah, you can keep going. And if you wanna know where our room was, it was this building right here, but at the very end. So that's how we were able to see everything that was going on on the boardwalk. But let's go downstairs. And just take the stairs and we're on the first floor. So I think the main thing you need to understand about the boardwalk is it is different than any other Disney resort. The restaurants, including where you refill your mug, the sundry shop where you would buy gifts and little treats are on the boardwalk. They are not inside the main resort. So you actually have to exit the resort and come here on the boardwalk so that you can do the sundries, the ice cream, the pizza, the entertainment, everything is external, if that makes sense, because the theme is boardwalk. And that's why this resort seems so big. It's not all rooms, it's that all of the dining and the things are all outside on the boardwalk. So we're gonna walk, we're going to Epcot, but I'm gonna show you the boardwalk on the way so you can kind of see what I'm talking about, okay? So like I said, right here, you can rent those bikes. They're all lined up ready for you. But we got Flying Fish, that's a restaurant. We got the Abracadabra Bar. And this whole thing at night is just lit up. People are everywhere, entertainment's all on the boardwalk. It's like a party all the time nightly. Our room, right up there at the corner, fifth floor, right at the tippy top. We keep going, we got the Boardwalk Deli. That is where you're gonna refill your mug. So you see you have to take quite a bit of a walk past all these restaurants just to refill your mug. Past that we got ice cream. There's a little stand in here for you to get margaritas, pizza, whatever you want. And of course coming soon is the Cake Bake, the bakery. But it's very, very peaceful in the morning. Like I said, this is a nighttime resort. I will say that our room was very loud at night. Again, we were on the edge. Um, 
wouldn't have been happy if I had a sleeping child, like a baby, but otherwise we loved it. We could see the fireworks, we loved watching the people walk by, and it was good for us. And if you wanted to go to Epcot, you just kind of follow this path, and you're in Epcot, five minutes tops. Look, they even have a photo booth. There's the ice cream up there where I got meat, vegan milkshakes. And here's the deli where you can get, you know, breakfast sandwiches in the morning, plus you refill your mug. And then they have evening things as well. It's not a full-on gift. It's not a full-on uh, quick service like at other resorts. Like they don't have french fries. <laughs> but that's because you can get pizza elsewhere. You can get ice cream elsewhere, you know, right here on the boardwalk. All right, and on the other side of the boardwalk here is where you're going to get that general store. That's going to be your Sunday sundry shop where it's uh, you can get snacks and treats and things you need to take back to your room. And then, of course, you keep going and you've got your general Disney gift shop. And, of course, we've got Big River and then some dance halls and all that stuff wrapped around. So this is what I mean. You have to go outside to get to these places. So right here is the general store. I can't tell you how many times we go into this store in a trip. You need bagels, you need peanut butter. Yep, this is where you go. All right, first thing here is we've got some candy and then we've got, since we have villas here on property, if you need anything like some microwave pizzas, egos, burritos, tater tots, meats, you want some ice cream, Mickey's premium ice cream bars. And then of course we've got milk, eggs, orange juice, deli slices, yogurt, Lunchables, and then all forms of juices, including some almond milk, yep, yeah, water, and some soda, Powerade, all that kind of stuff. And then we've got your beer, your wine, and even champagne. And then we turn around, and it's the store. Of course, first thing here is like a little sweets area, in case you want to get your Mickey treats on over here. We've got some popcorn. And this is where you're gonna go and get those items that you may have left behind for starting here with some candy, some goofies, and some mugs, and some coffee. Got some mugs and some houseware stuff. But in the corner, this is what I was talking about. So you need some cereal, mini muffins, chips, donuts, bread, bagels, all those kind of things you may have left behind. This is where you're gonna get your personal items and that baby stuff. So some baby food, sunscreen, diapers, Kleenex, all the things. I got another row here of medicine. I always talk about how to pack your own medicine because this is the only kind they have. They might not have the kind you use back home. And then here you go with your peanut butter, your jelly, your cookies your crackers, ooh, Ziploc baggies, haven't seen that one before. Oatmeal, soup, mustard, ketchup, yeah. Wanna make some pancakes? Yeah, they got that here too. And the rest is just some more little snackies. So that's there for the food area. And then the rest of this is just a general Disney gift shop with a pin board. And then they have some boardwalk specific items here. They did have a whole bunch of ornaments, but they sold out. But look, they've got boardwalk ears, just new. In fact, they're putting them out right now. They even have a boardwalk lounge fly. New right now. Like I, like I said, the rest is just general souvenirs, toys, clothes. Uh, lounge flies, ears, pins, sanitizers, hats. And then the back here they have kind of nicer clothing. Got Vera Bradley, Dooney Burks back here. Got some Pandora back here. Yeah, we got some Lily back here. Yeah, just some nicer goods. A little different from the kitty stuff per se, or the stuff that says Disney all over it. But yeah, this is the gift shop slash general store slash sundry shop slash bakery. And I actually found uh, postcards. They they got rid of postcards on property years ago, but that's a postcard set. 
course I had to buy a little crush. So cute, they pin on your backpack and they've got Dumbo and Simba and Marie. Here's another store here on the boardwalk. So cute. All right, and that Olaf's gonna turn around right now. There we go. The art of Disney. All right, we're headed to uh, Hollywood right now, but we're doing this uh, cut through path so you can get an insight into their arcade here at Boardwalk. There we go, we got some people in there called Arcade Games. And then of course they have the health club, Muscles and Bustles. And then straight up here is their main pool. All right, here's another look at the pool. You can see all the lawn chairs here. It is decent weather right now, it's in the 60s, so we could have more kiddos in the pool, but there's just not. And we've got some over here using the slide. So they go up the stairs, which are white, and then they come down that red slide. It's a lot of twirlies there. And then of course we have a pool bar. All right, here's a closer look at the pool. So it used to be a clown's mouth that you came out of and they changed it to Mick and Min. So it's like a coaster. So the kids, there's a kid coming out right now. Let's see if we can catch him. Come on, there he goes. <laughs> and they have the accessibility chair here as well. Just very fun. First time I've seen pool noodles, that's pretty cool. And then of course they've got the kids' uh, life jackets here. All right, here's a closer look of the pool bar. And then we've got a hot tub back there as well. A little, little hot tub. But yeah, there's the bar. And oddly enough, they just started some construction. They weren't doing that before. We've got some construction going on back here, but you can't hear it, so I don't know what they're doing. There's a bit more of a close-up of that slide. You can actually see kids going up the stairs right now. And they go all the way down, and they go through that red piping right there. Red tubing, I should say. This resort also has a community hall, which has a bunch of, uh, well, I'll show you some sports fun in there. And then we have tennis courts all along the walkway to Hollywood Studios. So if you wanted to go to Hollywood Studios, you would walk along this path right here. So we actually went behind the pool. We're walking around. And then it says Community Hall, so let's check that out. All right, we're in the Community Hall area, and look at this. I'm always talking about a quiet pool. That's a pool that doesn't have all the noise and activity. Well, look at this, no one here. You want a peaceful pool? You want to sit and read? Yep, this would be the pool for you. Looks like back there we got a chess set, one of those giant chess sets, so that's a lot of fun. And pool tables. We got one pool table here. And then what is this, like table tennis? But there's more stuff inside. Let's see if we can get in here. All right, how cool is this? Look at, they've got art stuff set up here for kids' activities. We've got some games. Here's the foosball. Oh my goodness. You got someone who likes to game. <laughs> they got that set up here too. And then a TV. This is where you would come and do like kids' club-like activities over here. Some of which you do have to pay for. But yeah, this is the place. All right, and if you find the Hidden Goofy every day, you can come and get a special pin and then a sticker. And I will tell you that Beach and Yacht Club do this as well. So we went ahead and did that. And we picked it up here in the community hall. So there it is, Boardwalk Community Hall. Great place for your kiddos, as you guys saw. Um, I did talk to the cast member. Some activities are, you do have to pay for them, um, as I expected. Some, and, some are free, you know, like coloring and hanging out. Uh, but still, no one at this beautiful, quiet pool. Might be a great place for your kids to make friends or just entertain them if you have an off day or it's raining or it's too cold to go to the park. Having these types of areas is actually very much a perk. And yep, yeah, towels as well. But let's keep on going.
All right, I found the resort map and I'm hoping you guys can not only hear me but see all of this. As you can see, this resort is huge. So now, this is the lobby where you would come in or you would exit, right? This was our room. So we were super close to the lobby, which was great. Over here is where you need to refill your resort mug. So if you're in any of these buildings, you have to walk outdoors, refill your mug. You can go to Epcot by walking on this path, or you keep going, walk to Hollywood Studios, or you can cut through the pool, which is where we are right now. So there's all these other buildings where you could stay, depending on what type of room you booked. But like I said, we were right here, we were in the regular boardwalk area. It was perfect, it was also very noisy right here because we're right on the boardwalk. If you got a room further back, might not be as much of an issue, but then you're not as close. We were super close. We just had to go downstairs and we were right here. It was very, very, very convenient. So that's a look at the resort. And now we're back to the boardwalk to our rooms. We just walked down this little pathway. We just passed the arcade again, right over there. We got the fitness center right here. It's all right next to the pool. The gym, the arcade, the pool, all right next door. And then we're here. We're in the center part area of the boardwalk. Again, everything's outside. This building, lobby. Go up the stairs, you got your lobby. You go that way, straight ahead. That's you're gonna refill your refillable mug. You go this way, and that's where you're gonna hit that general store that I showed you earlier. And that is, my friends, the boardwalk resort. After looking at the app, I found out they do have vegan milkshakes here. So let's go check out Boardwalk Ice Cream. And you can also get the kitchen sink. The cherry fell. I got it. You didn't flinch at all. You must have seen that one before. <laughs> Two. Oh. And I'm doing it. I'm the tallest person at the boardwalk. Yes. Be shaking too. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed my 
semi-quick, I don't know, uh, look at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Now, I gotta be honest with you. I said at the beginning of the video, I have done this resort before. We stayed here a couple years ago. It was awful. We loved the, you know, we loved the boardwalk, loved the people, loved the things, hated the room. It was so stinky and smelly, we could barely even stay in the room. It was bad, and I'm not that much of a complainer. You guys know that. This trip has been phenomenal. I 100% give Boardwalk a thumbs up. They have refurbished all the rooms. No carpet, they no longer use ceiling fans, which they had used before to get rid of the smell, if you kind of know what I'm talking about. Uh, like I said, the resort is loud, especially at night. So if you have sleeping babies you're worried about, might not be the resort for you. But if you love a nightlife, if you love activity, this resort is perfect. Now, as previously said in the other video, it is kind of annoying that you have to go out and around the corner to refill your mug. But then my husband was like, well, you have to do that at Grand Floridian as well. And he's 100% right. You have to do it at the Polynesian as well, right? Where you go to refill your mug, it's not in the same building as where you would sleep. So I don't know what I'm complaining about because <laughs> all these other resorts that I absolutely love, you have to do the same thing. I think I was just spoiled at Beach Club because it's inside the main lobby area, which is where our room was. So again, take that with a grain of salt, but our room was fabulous. It was loud at night, otherwise quiet during the day, very convenient. We can walk to Epcot, we can walk to Hollywood, we can go visit Yacht and Beach. <laughs> really, just a thumbs up. So I can 100% take back that previous video and say that I can wholeheartedly suggest Boardwalk to the point where my husband was like, let's come back. That was nothing we had said previously, so yeah. 100% highly suggest Boardwalk. And again, guys, I am a travel agent who specializes in Disney. If you are looking for someone to uh, book these resorts for you, give you even more tips and tricks, feel free to contact me. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, check out my other ones. I've got the Poly, I've got the Grand, I've got Bay Lake Tower, I've got Beach Club, I've got Riverside, I've got Value, I got them all, guys. So check them out on my channel, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're gonna give Boardwalk a chance. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications. Like this video, pretty, pretty please. Share with family and friends. And as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina, out.